Jim. Did you put the plug in? Yes. Okay. Every single time. Hello everybody! Hi guys! We are on that adventure that we kind of talked about a little while ago in one of our other videos, but Florida has had other plans for us. We have had the most atrocious weather, um, and today it's looking a little like dark and scary outside, but we finally got to the point where we can get out back on the water, and we decided today to come up to Silver Glen Springs off of big giant beautiful lake george uh, we've been fishing this lake now um, for well since i've met him we used to come out here in the airboat and we would do nighttime fishing um gigging for catfish and frogs and, and bow fishing tilapia bow fishing so it's, it's been a lot of nights on this lake one of our first dates was on this lake i think in the airboat wasn't it yeah <laughs> yeah yeah and i outfished him and his dad so um, and I didn't want to go back in because I was having so much fun. And that was probably one of the very first times that I got to experience that. Silver Glen Springs, which is a natural spring, um, one of the prettiest ones that I've ever been to. Yeah, it's definitely my favorite in Florida. At least the, at least the ones in Florida I've been to, this is my favorite spring to go to because you can boat right up to it. Yeah. You can boat right up to the swimming area. Um, it's just, it's definitely Beautiful. my favorite, favorite spring here crystal clear I say blue water um, but with the white sand it makes it look kind of a bluish hue um, and it's fed millions and millions of gallons of water a day it's just it's it's incredible it's a little cold though 72 year round that's very cold <laughs> But on a day like today where it's almost 100 degrees, no wind, you just feel sticky and yucky and you're ready to jump on in and, and get going. How sticky do you really feel? Blah. Yeah. Very sticky. Okay. <laughs> I, got the, I got the sweats. So, um, And then after that, we're going to run over to Renegades for a little afternoon appetizer to um, kind of relax and and hang out. It's a nice little restaurant on the water we can boat right up to. Um, again, we have so many opportunities to get out on the water and enjoy different things, and we're glad that you guys have chosen us to come along with. Yep. Right, babe? Absolutely. Okay. All right. We'll see you yeah. in a minute. We'll see a lot of them. Me too. The water is like already so pretty. I I feel like here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely clear up in the run from the last time we were here. Yeah. Last time it was mucky all the way out. You couldn't see bottom until you got all the way to the, the spring almost. We're here. We're here. Do you remember um, taking Cooper to that little island? Yeah. Yeah, Butch used to come out here with us all the time, too. We finally made it. The weather finally cut out for us. So now it's nice and sunny and pretty as we run through. how clear the water starts to get and we'll start to see bottom. Oh, there's a turtle just, oh, just kidding. I don't think that's right. It is a turtle floating. Aww. Right there. He's swimming. He's like, he's legs are moving, but he's not going anywhere. Yeah. That's <laughs> how I swim. Look at 
that old sailboat. Is it? It's a little chilly. Chilly Willy. You just gotta go for it. I'm not just going for it. I like slow and steady. Just go, man. Slow and steady. That's how I like it. <sighs> One at a time. Oh, I should have brought my paddle board, but I don't have a paddle. Can you get on that? I need you to give me a paddle for my paddle board. It's not much of a paddle board without a paddle. You can use your hands. I'm not gonna use my hands. I need a paddle. I'm recording you. Recording me. Recording you. Recording me. Are you singing? You're so cute. It's a little cold still. And the clouds. Is it titty bit nippy? A little bit. Um, and the clouds are starting to move back in. You need to check the radar. It ain't going to rain on our parade. Not today. You about ready to go diving and show them the boil? Yeah, but I have to get my earplug. Then nobody cares. Do you yeah, want to go diving? Yes. And we'll go see the boil? Yes. <laughs> Yay!
All right, so we're gonna end this video. I'm gonna bring you over to my mom's house who has a huge collection of arrowheads that they got in this state park many years ago. A lot of people don't realize, but Silver Glen Springs used to be privately owned. Um, I'll have to look up Google on that. I don't remember what dates it was privately owned or when, it, when the state bought it. It was probably at least 40 years ago. And I'm gonna go to her house. I'm gonna show you guys all the arrowheads that they had got. And I'm gonna let her explain to you guys how they found them back in the day. Cause it's really interesting how they did it. What else do you wanna add? Do you need to add anything else, babe, to our end of our Silver Glen Springs video? It was amazing. We had some helpers that took the camera for us. Yeah, where are they? There's our helpers. Hi. You Hi. wanna introduce yourself? Oh yeah, I'm Katie by the way. That's I'm Katie. Nika. What's your name? Nika. Okay. <laughs> So well, yeah, that was all right, was so they're the ones that did the filming for us inside the state park because they actually paid the $26 to get in and we did not. <laughs> so thank you guys very much for the footage that our of viewers course. are going to see inside the park. I hope it's good enough. Oh, it'll be good enough. <laughs> so. No. Great day. Beautiful day out on the water. The, the weather turned out really nice and we couldn't have asked for a Yeah, better. we had to sit it out in the truck for about an hour and a half better when a day. storm came over the lake, but... We ended up making a good day of it. We were gonna take you guys to Renegades to on the water, which is a nice bar restaurant on the water, but we're not because it ended up getting too late. We're gonna go home and grill some chicken and hang out in the pool. Yeah, bye. That's it? Yeah. It's just bye? Yeah, bye. Do you need to say anything bye. to our viewers, our 1.7 million subscribers? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. Bye. Maybe in 20 years. All right, what's up, everybody? <laughs> Welcome back. As I promised, I was coming by my mom's house to show you guys what they had found 40 something years ago. Yep, back in the late 70s. Late 70s before I was born. Before he was born. Um, I'm going to do a close up here in a minute of everything they found. Um, would you mind telling them how, how you guys found all these things? All right, well, back in the late 70s, um, Silver Glen Springs was owned by DuPont Company, and years later they must have sold it to the state. But at that time, it was set up with a beautiful campground area. Uh, not that many boats came in. Now a lot of boats come in the uh, run, but at that time it wasn't that popular. So uh, we would camp. Uh, usually we try to get there on a Thursday evening to where we could get a different campsite every week or every two weeks so we could go hunting for our Indian treasure. So that's what we did. I had stepchildren that were uh, under 12 and they would come and we'd all swim and snorkel and try to find the Indian artifacts. So we found a multitude it was from the Timwakwin Indians or Timakuan Indians. Tim, uh, Tim or something? Timakuan. <laughs> Tim and uh, it, I, we researched <laughs> it. I mean, it's going back 10,000 years ago. So uh, to find this many in one area, yeah. I mean, I'm pretty surprised about it. If I was an Indian, I'd live there. Yeah, it's, it's, beautiful. Beautiful. it's beautiful. Yep. So they're made of flint or chert. Flint and or um, some of them are just very detailed and some of them are a little rough so I don't know if it was the quality of the Indian maker or uh, I guess some of them just sucked at making arrowheads and other ones yeah, were better yeah so some, some of them are perfect and other ones are not so perfect right. um, so as far as you guys finding them I know you mentioned you used a little boat with a little electric motor on it or something? Yeah, to... your, your dad had a little uh, fishing boat with a pretty small motor on it and he would actually run the motor close to the bank 
which would stir the water up a little bit. It would maybe go down, probably not more than a foot. Yeah, stir and the sand stir up. Stir the sand, and then uh, we'd let it settle, and then the kids would get their snorkel masks <laughs> on and swim around and see what and we would pick find. Pick them up. Yep. Okay. Well, I know I've looked a lot since I've been going. I've never found one, so they must have all been picked through. Or you have to go <laughs> down 12 inches. Or you got to go down at least 12 <laughs> inches in the dirt maybe to find them, but... So anyway, what was it? So it was Chert? Chert and Flint. Chert. Which ones were the Chert The Chert. I'm not ones? sure. They're mostly, I think, the beige colored ones. I hope we get some comments on this video because I know there's people out there that have a lot of experience in arrowheads and, and Indians, and I sure as heck don't. So in the comments, if you guys have any in, insight on what some of these are, may, I think this, the small ones were uh, for bow and arrows. And I think the bigger ones were maybe hand spears, but hopefully you guys can give us some insight and some more knowledge than what we have on the subject. So this these, is the, I believe, are some tomahawk pieces. And yeah, I, I, like research, I researched this. I think this was more for like a pounding, um, maybe to use for cooking or grain. Yeah, that makes sense. And your dad thought some of these real thin ones could have been like, because they got the deer and they had a skin deer. Oh, that might yeah, so be tanning. Some, yeah, tanning. Tanning. So, so something that had a sharp edge. Uh, we didn't find any arrowheads made of bone, which surprised me because I would have thought there would have been, unless, uh, I don't know, I don't maybe, know maybe, maybe during that time. But And yeah, then we did know. find some uh, pottery. Yeah, some of it has some, a lot of detail on it. Some too. has some detail, some plain. I'm surprised it could make it in the water all this time and yeah. not disintegrate or... So anyway, it was fun doing it. Um, once the state took it over, they closed the camp area. And uh, so you could go swimming, but you couldn't camp. Yeah, there's so. no more camping in Silver Glen. They have the picnic tables and stuff like I showed you in the video, but there's no more camping yeah. in, the, in the Glen anymore, unfortunately. So we lucked out. We were doing it at a time that a lot of people didn't even know Silver Glen was around. So we they got sure to know enjoy there now. it. Yeah. On a holiday weekends, you can't hardly even get in the place. Right. So, anyway, well, thank you You're for giving us your knowledge on it, and how you found these things. Yeah, it's really, well, really cool. It was to fun. It was great. Have something memories. in possession that's ten thousand years old is pretty cool. Yeah. So, well, thank you guys, and stay tuned for the next video. Oh, I, did you introduce yourself? Did you even say? I think you Hi, said. Hi, I'm Jane. No, but did you say this is my mom? I did. You don't, you don't okay, want your name well on there. Okay, well that's okay. They don't need to know my name. Oh, we weren't recording the whole time. Are you kidding? <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to our channel. If you like our last video, you can give us a big thumbs up. If you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. See you guys later.